What's up guys, it's Scarce here. <laughs> no, it's Leopold the Brave. I'm not Scarce. <laughs> but you could probably tell that, right? <clears throat> Anyways, Hihachi versus Akuma, our second battle involving a Tekken character. The first one was Jack versus Jasper. And let me tell you, if any episode were to show that I'm not biased, I'd pick Jack versus ja uh, Jasper out of all of them. <laughs> because Jack, a character in my top five favorite Tekken characters of all time versus Jasper, a character from Steven Universe, which I secretly hate, but only watch ironically. Yeah, I... I don't know, I typically enjoy the story stuff in Steven Universe, but everything else just gets on my nerves. The characters are terribly written. They look ugly. The music's okay. The voice acting's terrible. The animation's at least better than some, but... It's just so unappealing to look at, and I'm probably already not getting this commentary off to a good start by dissing Steven Universe, but really, I don't like it. I hate it, actually, because of the forced agendas and all that. But yeah, I was expecting to get people to call me biased for this one, because, I mean, it's Akuma. Akuma's everyone's favorite Street Fighter character, including mine. I even included his non-canon meteor feat. Hmm. But anyways, about this episode. This episode was a complete accident, like the day it came out. Because I had originally planned for Gur vs. Clank to come out. And I was having trouble writing it. And then Namco announced that they were going to announce the release date of Tekken 7 this week. So I was like, oh no, if I do Gur vs. Clank on this day, then Hihachi vs. Akuma will come out on that day when the Tekken 7 release date is revealed, and then people will think I made the episode just to coincide with it, because I already had Hayachi vs. Akuma planned ahead. I have these episodes planned really far ahead. So I, w I didn't know what to do, and I had trouble writing Griffith's Clank, and I'm like, I can't write this, this is gonna take too long. I can't think of anything, these two have nothing, so I'm like, you know what, let's just scrap the episode completely and do Hayachi vs. Akuma, because I already have research for that mostly pretty much done, and I can write stuff for that easily. So then I did it, and I scheduled it to come on Monday, because I was like, oh, well, next week, perhaps they mean like Friday or Saturday at like some kind of event or something. Nope, they announced the release date Monday of this week, the very day I had scheduled for the episode to go up. And not only that, but the, I had the episode scheduled to go up after the release date was revealed. I had no way of knowing. I thought they were going to reveal it like Friday or Saturday or something, but no, they had to reveal it Monday. Especially when I'm talking about lots of tech and news. So, imagine someone coming to my channel and seeing tech and news, release date announcement announcement, tech and news, the release date's revealed, uh, then universe is Hayachi vs. Akuma where Hayachi wins. How does that look like? What does that look like to most people? That looks a lot like fanboyism to most people. But I assure you, this is what I got from my research. Like, I did the jack scaling to Heihachi, and it just came out the better stats than Akuma, and all that kind of stuff. And he survived the raging demon, yada yada yada. So, it's just all this crazy stuff that happened regarding Tekken right when I had planned this fight. Ugh. But thankfully, thankfully Disney Pixar isn't, like, dropping Incredibles 2 trailer. And Disney isn't dropping a Wreck-It Ralph 2 trailer near whenever that Disney duel comes out. Just watch them do that now that I said something. I was actually, oh no, I actually completely forgot those two were both getting sequels until someone pointed them out in the comments section. Because I announced it and then someone's like, I, I forget who it is. I really do. Um, I think it was someone on the Battle Royale team. Maybe it was Adam. I think it was Adam. But anyways, he made a comment like, um, just, just watch Disney completely make the results of Wreck-It Ralph vs. Mr. Incredible wrong with the sequels. <laughs> so that's gonna be funny. <clears throat> and it'll be a very easy fight to research too, because it's just one movie for each. And I could actually take time to do, to look at super close details and the nitty gritty and all that. Because these two actually appear to be pretty close from the outside. So I'll just have to analyze even closer. <clears throat> so yeah, this was a very fun episode to work on, and this is a secret only people listening to the commentaries will get to know. I'm actually working on a new intro for 
uh, Mr. Incredible vs. Wreck-It Ralph. I'm going to start using a new intro for universes then. Um, I had made one. It was My Town by Hollywood Undead. That was the song. And I tried increasing the pace and lowering the pitch to avoid copyright, but that still didn't work, so I'm still trying to think of a different cool song that would be fit for fighting. Because Hollywood Undead My Town is really what I wanted to go with. Because it's just so good, it just sounds like it's made for fighting. Like, it sounds like some wrestling match. And it was used in Akuma vs. Er, <laughs> and, and it was used in Street Fighter Cross Tekken, and Kings, and Marducks, and Poison, and Hugo's trailer, where they were in a wrestling ring. So yeah, I, we're gonna have a new intro for Mr. Incredible vs. Wreck-It Ralph as soon as I can think of a new song to use for it. A cool song made for fighting. Fighting, fighting. Oh yeah, speaking of the Raging Demon, there's some people, or well, one person, there's pretty much only one person in the comments complaining about that. Um, I would, normally, I would not ever, like, point at someone and go, look, they said this, go hate on them. Because there was this guy bugging me about Scout vs. Tracer for like a couple months who really got on my nerves and was really annoying and saying all these rude things to my fans and all that. But I still didn't call him out because I don't like sending waves of hate his way. Besides, the whole situation's over with now. It ended like in a couple months. But this dude has been going... He's, been no, he's done nothing but spam my channel for over a year about how Street Fighter is the strongest fighting game verse ever and how Ryu and Akuma are like planet busters and ah, oh, Street Fighter destroys every other fighting game except Dark Stalkers or something like that and it, it's Ninja World Warrior something something I forget the last two numbers in his name but he has been spamming my channel for over a year, relentlessly, just Street Fighter's OP. No, Street Fighter's stronger than you think. No, I analyzed it. The, the most things Akuma has destroyed or scaled to are large island level. That's the highest thing he's destroyed or scaled to. Just like Aihachi, the, the highest thing he destroys or scales to is country level. Because Jack destroyed the meteor. And Aihachi one-shots Jack. It's, it's that simple. Ugh. So, if you ever see that Ninja World Warrior guy, just ignore him. Just ignore him. I bet, I bet I could have Cammy lose to Superman and he'd still complain. Oh, but yeah, now that I'm in a bad mood, how about we end this commentary? Because I have nothing else to say anyways. I hope you guys enjoy the next Disney duel. I know some people are complaining about the Disney duels, but some people really do like them. So those who don't like them, bear with me. There's going to be a lot more cool fights in the future. And the Disney duels aren't going to be super duper common they're just gonna be like a once every now and then every time i have two disney characters fighting each other but anyways see ya and bye